Healthier Together. Sponsored by Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's a time to call attention to a disease that impacts hundreds of thousands of people each year. In this week's Healthier Together, we look at the importance of community when someone gets that unwanted diagnosis. Most of us have a personal connection with breast cancer. A family member or a friend has had it or is currently fighting the disease. Or maybe it's you. Other than skin cancers, it is the most common cancer for women, affecting one in eight in the U.S. I was diagnosed in the first few months of my breast cancer fellowship, so I'd already chosen to be a breast cancer surgeon. Dr. Corey Donovan is a breast surgical oncologist with Legacy Health. She knows the challenges patients face and the needs they have because she's been one. Getting through breast cancer goes beyond the medicine, the surgery, or radiation. It's also helping their families get through this diagnosis, making sure that their job is still there when they're on the back end, making sure their mental health is supported in whatever way we can, because this is a real trauma for many patients. Advancements and treatments have made survival much more likely. The overall death rate is about 2.5 percent. Still, the American Cancer Society estimates more than 300,000 women will be diagnosed with invasive breast cancer in 2024, and more than 42,000 will die from it. A few months ago, fully clear, and then they scanned me again, and so now the breast cancer is in my lungs, so I'm metastatic. Danielle Rogers has an especially difficult journey. Her breast cancer diagnosis came in July of 2022. Now the cancer has returned and spread. It's a lot to process and you, it's very overwhelming and you look at death and life on the same path. Through it all, Danielle remains determined to live her life fully with help from her husband Mike, daughter Brianna, and their pups. Danielle also expresses herself through her photography, focusing on other breast cancer patients and survivors, building unity with unique and powerful warrior women portraits. I have met some incredible, incredible women. I will say that this, that is probably the best thing that I've taken away from this diagnosis is the women that I've met and not even just the women, they're care caretakers too. It takes a village this month and year round and early detection is where it all starts with monthly self exams and mammogram screenings for most women beginning at age 40. The sooner they do find if there is something there, the better chances that you have. So I always call out my friends when they're like, well, I'm just too busy. And I'm like, girlfriend, <laughs> like, I just don't even want to hear that. Such a great attitude and thank both those women for speaking with us. The American Cancer Society is holding a family friendly event this weekend called Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. It's this Sunday morning at nine o'clock at the University of Portland campus in North Portland. It includes a nice walk around the community there. For more information, head to KGW.com.